Grandpa, what in God's name is a well doing way out here in the middle of the woods? You stay away from that well. You know about this? I've owned this 500 acres for over 50 years. You're damn right I know about it. I've hunted this property with you for years. I don't remember seeing it. I ain't gonna beat around the bush about it. That well eats people. Look, there's a ladder going down. Shut up and listen to me, boy. You don't know what you're dealing with. What's down in that well? It's pure evil, son. When I was in my 30s, I would often hunt with my grandpa on his 50 acres of property. Hunting with him was exciting to me, and I looked forward to it every year. It gave us time to bond, as I really liked to hear the old graybeard stories, and he told some whoppers, let me tell you. Grandpa warned me about the well. He even called it evil, as he went on about the rumors that whoever goes into the well sometimes don't come out. Or if they do, they ain't the same person. He never elaborated more than that. I couldn't decide if the old graybeard's warnings about the well in the woods was believable or not. He seemed serious about what he was telling me. I was waiting for him to start laughing at me, saying, gotcha, once he noticed the concerned expression on my face. But it never came. The idea of a well in the middle of the woods fascinated me, and the fact that there was a ladder was all too inviting. My grandpa made me promise I wouldn't venture into the well, so I did. I wish I wouldn't have broken that promise to my grandpa. I ventured back to the site of the mystery well an hour after we were done hunting for the day. It was dusk. There it was. Funny though, not exactly in the same spot as I remembered off of by about 30 yards. Flashlight in hand, I walked up to the well again. This time I was ready to climb down. I reached for the edges of the ladder sticking over the well to test the sturdiness. I'm about to climb onto the well and scale down the ladder when again I hear my grandpa's voice in my head. What's down in that well, son? It's pure evil. I took a deep breath and paused. I let go of the ladder and stepped back. Maybe I don't want to do this, thought to myself. I should respect my grandfather's advice. I began to walk away when I heard it. The sound of a child giggling. I turned around quickly to identify where it was coming from, looking out into the dimly lit woods. I didn't see any children anywhere. There it was again, quiet and desperate, ringing with a stony echo. It was coming from the well. Oh my God, I thought, there's a child in the well and I have to get them out. I hurried back to the well and looked down to see if I could see the child. No luck, even my flashlight couldn't reach the bottom, so it seemed. I yelled down the well, I'm coming, I'll save you. I climbed up onto the ladder, and this time I headed down into the well without any hesitation or second thoughts. I started lowering myself down the ladder and into the darkness. As I made my way to the bottom, the light above me was fading, and the child's giggling was getting louder from below. When I reached the bottom of the well, I slowly stepped off the ladder and looked up to the barely visible ring of light from which I came. The flashlight revealed in front of me a maze of catacombs. What is this place? I said to myself. From the corner of my eye, I see a child run from one tunnel into another, giggling. We need to get out of here! I yelled for the child to come to me. I raced to catch up to the child and found myself surrounded by more tunnels. And now I discovered they have tombs in the wall. The child is nowhere to be found. 
I hear a roar from one of the tunnels ahead and starts shaking. My flashlight dropped to the ground. I scramble for the flashlight and race back to the ladder. I can't find it. It's not where it's supposed to be. Quickly I race to check around every corner, into every tunnel. I can't find out where I entered. I started having a panic attack as the roar thundered through the catacombs, followed with a hiss. I dropped to the ground, leaning against the wall, praying like a man who was about to die. That's when I hear the child's creepy giggle. In the opening of one of the tunnels stands the child, waving at me to come to him relentlessly. I get up and start running to the child when a large black beast races up to me and knocks me down onto the dirt floor. I didn't die. I looked up and the child is still waving relentlessly. I run to follow the kid, but I can't keep up. The child is getting too far ahead of me. I'm gasping for air as the fear is gripping me. The roar is behind me and it's getting closer. It's just a matter of time before it gets me. I saw the child turn to the right ahead of me in the murky corridor. Not giving up, I gave it everything I had to run more. As I turned the corner into what I thought was yet another tunnel, the child was gone and the wooden ladder stood in front of me. I quickly climbed the ladder, falling off after I got up a few steps. Scrambling to my feet, I start climbing again. I'm yelling for help as I reach for the rungs. I feel the ladder shaking, but it's not me doing it. I stop and look down with the flashlight. A beast with red eyes and tentacles was on the ladder coming after me. What in God's name is that? With my heart beating out of my chest, I looked and started climbing again, dropping the flashlight. I get almost to the top, exhausted, not sure if I can pull myself out of the well, when a hand reaches down to help me up. It was my grandpa. He pulled me out. I said to quickly put the cover on it. There's something chasing me. He looked at me and laughed. What are you talking about? Those stories weren't true. Gotcha. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Let's have a look. He said as he leaned to look down the hole. No, 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 stay away. It's real. I don't see anything. He said as he pivoted and kept laughing at me. I breathed a sigh of relief when the well monster wasn't there. Perhaps I was hallucinating the whole thing. As my grandpa turned around from the well, pointing and laughing at me, that's when it happened. Tentacles rose up from the well behind him. I tried to warn him, but the creature's tentacles were too quick, and it pulled him into the well, screaming. <laughs> 